time, we'd like to welcome a very special player back to Southern Union. In 1991, Alex Dillard came to Southern Union in Wadley after a stellar career at Jess Lanier High School in Bessemer. He would soon be known as one of the top guards in the JUCO ranks. In 1993, Dillard was named as the Junior College Player of the Year in the state of Alabama, a second team All-American, while leading the Bison to the 1993 Junior College State Championship. That fall, Dillard joined the basketball program at the University of Arkansas. As a Razorback, Dillard was known throughout the country as one of the most feared three-point shooters. He set an SEC record for three-pointers in a game with 12 against Delaware State, a mark that would stand for 16 years. In 1995, Dillard led his Razorbacks to the Final Four and a trip to the National Championship game. Following his college career, Dillard played professionally for 10 seasons in Lithuania, Sweden, and Brazil. Dillard serves on the basketball coaching staff at Spain Park High School in the Hoover for, from 2014 until 2018. He currently serves as an AAU coach and basketball consultant in the Birmingham area. Regardless of Dillard's travels around the globe, he will always be known as a true Southern Union Bison. In honor of his fabulous career here, and in the way that he represents his alma mater, we formally retire his Bison jersey tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give a Southern Union welcome to Alex Dillard. I want to play for the minute. Alex Dillard, uh, congratulations, retiring your jersey uh, and, and that special. Uh, how long have you known about it? Uh, I just found out maybe uh, a month or two. A month or two ago. And, you know, when he called me, I was just like, are you serious? <laughs> you know, and he like, yes. And so, you know, because it's, it's crazy that coach here, you know, retired, but, you know, Ron wanted to retire a while ago. And so that's why he, he very seldom let people wear it because he wanted to retire, you know, a while ago, but you know, I appreciate Coach here, you know, recognizing, you know, you know, the things I was I was blessed to do here with you know Southern Union. You and could you could score from anywhere. That, uh, that's what you're known for. A little bit, a little bit. What what was your statement when you went to Arkansas, or was it Coach Richardson's statement yeah. that you could throw it from the yeah. hog's tail? Is yeah, that right? Tail. And, and he would always say, you know, you had to guard me when I come in the building. <laughs> yeah, he would always say, you guard me when I come in the building. I, I said on the air a while ago, and, and that's back in my younger days, too, yes. when, when you were playing. But uh, 40 minutes of hell. Oh. That's what Coach Richardson described it as. Yeah, uh, it's funny you say that because uh, we are doing another we are doing another uh, documentary, and it's, it's called Before 94. It's, it's, it's almost I, – I got it sent to me on my phone, but I think it's like Before 94. It's pretty cool. So, um, um, I'll know more about that maybe like in the next month or so. But I think it's like before 94, it's Todd Day, myself, you know, Lee, Corliss, Scotty, uh, Reggie Merritt, Clint. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. So, man, you know. National championship. Yeah. Team. And it, it's, I don't think people understand, you know, how hard it was for me here. You know, because uh, the time I played, the coaches was allowed to be coaches. You know, and Coach Rafford is. He's if, pretty intense. Yeah, if it went from, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty intense. I, used, You know, we, I, I don't want to start a nickname. I, I kind of started calling him Big Swole. <laughs> I started calling him Big Swole, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, he, he's, outside of my dad, I have never seen a man with more integrity and character. I mean, hey. like, he just, what he says, he stands on yeah, I, I, I was reading a little bit of information about you, stuff that some some things that I didn't know. I I remember a little bit about your playing days and 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 your scoring ability, but to me, what separates you is the story when you were in high school. Uh, you yeah. had you had to drop out of high school yeah. as, as a junior, yeah. and 
you went to work and you were flipping burgers and, and working in fast food restaurants and, and doing stuff like that. And, but you were still playing basketball on the side, yeah. and that's where Coach Radford, uh, Coach Radford heard about you, and he encouraged you to go get your GED, and the rest is history because I read your bio, and I see what you do now, and, and, the, and the testament to that is never give up, no. never quit. And, and I'm going to let you kind of make some statements on that because I, I, that, that touched my heart. I'm impressed by that. I appreciate it. Well, you know, I, I've always had the – to never give up because, you know, I, where I'm from is a, a really hard area in Birmingham. It's a very tough area, one of the, you know, baddest area in Birmingham, <laughs> South Town Projects. So, uh, but I was blessed to have uh, a mom and dad that was very stern. It was about education. You know, may they rest in peace. But it's uh, – I just, you know, I was that kid that knew everything that had never done anything. And so, you know, I had to take a, a different path. And uh, I just I just believe in my dream, you know, and just having Coach Raffer, man, believing in me, you know, that, and that's all, that's all as a, you know, as a kid, that's all you want. You know, someone to believe in you and, and give you an opportunity. And I was blessed, you know, for the Lord and Coach Raffer, man. And, you know, like you said, the rest is history. But I tell kids all the time. You never know who's watching. And that's why I tell my kids when I coach them, it's all about integrity and character. That's right. And what is character? Character is, you know, when everybody watches, you're doing the right thing. That's right. That's but what right. are you doing when, when no one is watching? No. That's the character. And that's that's what I stand on. That's, and that's what I'm about, man. I just, just to have my number retired, man, you know, it wasn't just me. I was best to have some teammates that was willing to sacrifice maybe their ability for me to achieve what I achieved. But... I also put the work in too, though. Right. You know, I put the work in. You know, and we we just talking. You done it academically too. Yes. Because yes. I, I, you know, with me working over here and seeing you on an everyday basis, just about, and I know how hard you worked oh. at it academically as well. I did. I did. And that was the thing too. It wasn't my grades that prevented me from finishing. It was just me not, you know, being the kid that my mom and dad brought me up to be, and I knew everything, but had never done nothing, and so. Me and my dad, I bumped heads, and, you know, I had to had to move out. You know what I'm saying? And before he passed, I told him, I said, you, you don't understand the the move you made by, you know, me having to move move away from home, it saved my life because I was going down a bad path. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I miss my dad, may he rest in peace, but I told him before he passed, I said, if it weren't from you, that I don't think – the, the path that I've taken would be the way it is. Well, do you think Southern Union was the right fit for you in your time and you needed? Oh, man, it was – Um, you, you know how you – some people say you got to be in the right place at the right time? Mm -hmm. I was blessed to be in the right place at the right time. And I don't know how it is now, but, you know, for you guys that was here when I was here, we brought up different. And we was we was net, you know, we was close. Right. And 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 that's what I was told. The, I was the captain of the team, one of the captains. And I told the guys, man, you know, I'm the oldest, and it's all about respect. Because respect, you know, for if you, if you respect me, then you'll trust me. That's right. At some point, then you'll love me, and all that, you know, comes with respect. And so, I uh, me being the oldest, man, you know, I'm a 21 year old freshman. Most kids, 18 <laughs> years old. I've been out of school two and a half years, man. So I was going on 21. As a freshman, so you know, the things that they wanted to do, I had already done. So, what, you know, what did they call you? You were 25 at Arkansas. What did they call you? What was you? Uh, one coach called me Antique, and another called me Grandpa. Yeah, antique, <laughs> I, I, I love yeah, that. I so love it. It was, it was Antique, <laughs> that was Coach Wayne Stelic. You had December the 11th, 1993, Arkansas against Delaware State, yeah. I think it was. You set a, a then record. It was a conference record and a, uh, a school record yeah. for Arkansas. 12 threes in the game. You finished with 39 points that night. That record held up for a long time. I don't know if you know this or not. The current record is 15. There's several tied at 15, but you're still in the top 15 for three-pointers. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, you know, it's it's funny, it's funny you mention that because um, during that week, you know, I would shoot – I was averaging 3,500 shots a week before season started. So I was shooting like seven, eight, seven, 800 <laughs> shots a, you know, a day. And that particular week, as God's my witness, I, I was like, I, I wasn't missing. I was not missing. <laughs> and I was like, man, this is, you know, this is going good. And 
I didn't find this out till 2019 till we had our 25th reunion. They flew me back up to Arkansas. They flew all of us up to Arkansas. I scored 39 points, and I played 18 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I played nine minutes in the first half, nine minutes in the second half. And, and in Arkansas, you came off the bench I primarily. came off the bench. You know, and, 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 and what's crazy also, um, I enjoy coming off the bench because you know what? You never knew, you never knew what was going to hit you. That, that's exactly right. Look, that, you have the most incredible story that I've ever heard. Uh, your your persistence and, and what you did. Uh, now you you teach and coach and mentor uh, kids. You do a lot of team camps and, and things like that in the Birmingham area. Uh, get a plug for your business. Got, I got to do that. D3. Uh, what? what? Uh, I thought about, like, my brand, uh, the trifecta. So, I, 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 the trifecta. The I, trifecta. I got it. And so that was that. That is something I've been working on. I hadn't told him about it until just now. <laughs> but my brand, I want to start at the trifecta, and you know, and that was that was all I'm known for. The trifecta. So that is awesome, Alex. Congratulations on your retirement of your jersey. I appreciate great it. Great to great to see you and talk to you. You got you got a great story. Uh, they're fixing to have the national anthem, so we're gonna. We're going to pass away, but or move away. But Alex Dillard, uh, our guest here on pregame.